brother Anthony? Brother Billy? Yeah. I can see clearly now. Ah, oh, the rain's gone. The day has gone. Well, yeah, well, that was a song, man. I can see clearly now one of those songs. And it's the rain is see. gone. Or oh, the rain is gone. Or <laughs> well, whatever, I can see clearly now. I wonder why I can see clearly. But the, I see clearly about a lot of things these days. Let me just tell you a little personal thing. I don't want to get into it because I don't want to condemn everything. But a lot of times people ask me, well, why are you in Atlas? Why are you, you know, in this, I'm, I know it's your town. I don't want to talk. I'm just a reporter. I don't want you to beat up on me, right? <laughs> they're not saying exactly backwards town, but they're just saying um, um, they don't do nothing town. Kind of thing. It is a town. It's not a city. It's not a rural, whatever. But I realized after, you know, a couple of years here, but this I've noticed a lot of different places. I didn't really notice when I was traveling the world a lot, because uh, I haven't really spent well. I spent I've been spending months in places. Mm -hmm. I think the problem is I, I have to choose this word carefully because it's not, it's not a good word, but it's the only word I can come up with to, to, for people to understand. Well, not well. People want to understand the town. Let me go back. Currently, my, my, you see my glasses, I don't have my, my shades on because they're being repaired. Because I had a, a anyway, it's being repaired, being polarized, repaired, whatever they, whatever they do. Mm -hmm. And when I was at the eye doctor, you know, because they tested me again. And of course, my glasses, these ones I've had for years, they're still good. And since I don't wear the glasses often, you know, my, my muscles in my eyes don't get weak, you know, so it's good. But anyway, talking to optometrists, she lives in King Williamstown. So I said, you know, there's a lot of things in Alice that people don't know about because they don't go around. So I said, well, you know, have you been to the, you know, the, the, the Khufu, um, uh Cafe, which is a coffee bar? She said, no. I said, well, you'd like to be. I said, she just don't look. I come to Alice. I live in King. I come to Alice, go to my stay. I might go to Champs, <laughs> you know, the chicken place. Mm. And that's it. That's all she knows about Alice. But I think what happens, the reason why that is, because Alice is not an actually welcoming place. Hmm. Let me give you a tiny example before I get to my point. My favorite place on the planet is a place called Barranco Belize. It used to be British Honduras. Now they sit right across from uh, uh, a place called uh, Livingston, Guatemala. It's the northern part of Guatemala. Basically it's the same people, it's just that, well, whatever, how the colonialists did that thing. But if you go to Livingston, which is a town, well, it's a village, but it's a big village. Every morning, everybody says, you know, Benita Banafi, you know, good morning. And everybody's greeting each other. This is one big, and they're always accepting people, and they want to treat you, da 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 da. They treat you, you know, whatever. And not just tourists, many from Jewish people, they're just a welcoming people. Here in Alice, yeah, they, they might say, blah, blah, blah. They might, you know, do a greeting. Most times they don't. But the thing is, they, how can I say it? They're not welcoming. In other words, you have your, your, your clannishness, and if you're outside, that, even if, I guess if you're inside that clan, they don't really allow new ideas in or anything like that. It just doesn't hold, doesn't grab, you know? And so what happens is you end up uh, not accepting new ideas, even unless the, I guess unless the chief makes you accept it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but people just, and I, I'm trying to figure out why. I, I think it was why because if you if you go to school, if you go to your primary school, you know, everything, and you never leave the place, then you feel a little fearful of new ideas because you know you 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 know what you haven't expanded yourself. You haven't been any place to bring new ideas in, and the people that are here that don't want to do that. They won't allow you to bring those new ideas in. I could be wrong with this, but here's the word I choose. I think it's petty. When I say petty, I don't mean like P-E-D-D-I-E, -E, the town petty, <laughs> the village petty as well. I mean P-E-T-T-Y, petty. People are just petty, but it's not just here. But if you look at even your political parties, I won't say the major party, they do petty little things. It's like, why even waste time doing that? Why even waste time not accepting things? You know, it's like, it's, it's, it's you, you, you stay in these little, these little enclaves and you don't expand and in these little enclaves since everybody's preying on each other they have to do petty things because
Because you have nothing, you can't do anything major. One well, of the major things are done by the people who do the corruption, you know, whatever, we won't get into that. But I'm just saying it's weird because I just find that the town is just not accepting. They refuse to grow. Especially it's strange because it's a university town, you see, you would think that, you know, things would but a lot of times people don't even want, they just go to their home, they did that, did that, did that, and that's it. But I think there's a, a, an element, of not just fearfulness, but an element of pettiness. You gotta be bigger than what you are. It's just something you gotta be bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. You can't stay, because otherwise you just get smaller, smaller, smaller. Anyway, just, look, I'm probably wrong on this entire thing. I was just running through my brain. I just had to get it out. And this is what happens when these, when these, these, these uh, what we call dispatches. There's a dispatch when the art spirit emerges. That, that would be me, T, for the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect. Hmm.